Okay, welcome back to Why the Hell Are You Here, Teacher? Anime Review Part 4. Yep, I finally reached the end of the series. Well, basically, this one I'm covering episodes 10 through 12 of the anime and the series Soul OVA, which actually picks up right where 12 leaves. I'll get to that. The first one, surprisingly, it starts off with, well, what's his name here? I almost forgot the guy's name. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this guy is the council president. Let's see if I can find him here. Ah, here he is. Tonka. Yes, Tonka. He, of course, finds out that all three of his male friends are all dating teachers. Yep. All beautiful teachers, mind you. One of, and here's the thing about these these guys. Now, two of whom they're actually told the teachers they're dating. The third, the short guy, actually the woman he's dating, someone we know for a long time, and of course she is told and he is. And he's like, okay, give me three months, and I'll find myself a girlfriend. And oh yeah, it turns out he actually works at a restaurant, giving like, so we have it. So he basically dumps the unused oil. And then he accidentally dumps it on the on the on the hot school nurse Chizuru Tespia, voiced by Amanda Lee Connors. Though the way that she's voiced, it's almost like it's the same voice actors from the series. The series, and I like their appearance, like same mannerisms, same appearance. It's almost like this woman just an older version of this character. Aiko from My Girlfriend's a Slutty Virgin. Yep. <laughs> it's like she's a grown-up. It's like, appearance-wise, she looks almost exactly like her. Same hair color, same personality. Mostly, anyways, though she doesn't have any, like, sex jokes with her this time. No. So, yeah, so he pretty much, she, like, he, of course, he gives her, like, a shirt. And then she voluntarily strips right in front of him. No, not by accident, like the other ones did. Though he does accidentally chip and hurt his ankle. And her top comes off and he basically gets right near her. Though she's on top of a, like, like a nurse shirt. And he gets so close. Look like he, he actually, like as far as I can tell, he actually was so close basically to her chest. He ends up accidentally sucking on one of her breasts. Yeah, which makes him the third woman in a row who actually gets a woman who gets her breast sucked by her future boyfriend. The first one technically didn't happen to her. Like, all of them get groped. And then, of course, she gets up. Apparently, she's got no problem with it at all. Nope. And, of course, instead of fixing this one, like he, he has ankle messed up. She really wanted to treat it, but he had basically get a new pair of pants anyways. Yep. And then, of course, Christmas time happens. Yes, Christmas time. Yeah, this is something that doesn't happen very much that I've seen in anime. Christmas episodes. Yeah, I don't see these very often. No, aside from this series, let's see. Aside from this one, the only series I can think of had Christmas episodes was the Meow Love. That that was there was one for that one. Let's see, what other ones was it? No, my first Christmas girl didn't have one. Surprisingly, uh, I think I think Bleach did. Yeah, I think Bleach had a. Christmas episode. Mm -hmm. uh, I know Fairy Tale had one. Yep, Fairy Tale surprisingly had a Christmas episode. Though it wasn't dubbed, it was an OVA, but I do count it for that. But not many I've watched have had one. Not really, no. They kind of hint at this in the My Hero Academia manga, which I hope they get to at some point. Yep. So she pretty much like gives this hint that she obviously gets it was she talks to talks to Hanka about it. And it's quite obvious she's got a thing for him. But she first waits after graduation to basically confirm the feelings. So then she goes over to his house, dressed in a dress like a Santa Santa helper. Helper. And shows up like as like what I heard because there was apron she loves teddy bears. So and then of course her 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 panties get wet. No, not from what you think. Yeah. It turns out the reason why panties got wet because she bought drinks and, and a fruitcake. And, of course, her breast popped out. Obviously, because stuff like this happens in the series. 
So the panties get wet, and she, of course, takes them off. Of course, she plays with box. She's like, oh, don't I'll, I'll wash them. And then, like, gives him a, a gift. And though it's not the right gift, it turns out. It turns out we're supposed to give him a different gift. And he basically is like, wait. And he gives her a big present where, like, he was hoping a girlfriend gives it to her. And what is it? It's Teddy Bear. Oh, yeah. And they also point out, apparently, she writes him with everything, including her underwear. Including her underwear, which she... He kind of figures it out, not by looking at the underwear, per se, because he's close to it, but because the video camera's connected to the TV screen for some reason. Yep. And then, of course, she goes, and, of course, she wonders why he gave her panties. Yeah, that's when he finds out that he actually... Well, she finds out that she basically figures out, oh, yeah, I gave him the wrong gift. And that's the thing ends. Levin is a very interesting one, because, well, why not have this teacher in a bikini... Jeez, this is the bikini episode. This is another one of those beach episodes. Yeah, surprisingly, a lot of anime I watch usually has one or maybe two. Yeah, usually uh, two is a rarity. I know Two Love Rue had like two of them over the course of the entire series. A lot of them I watch usually have one, two with luck. This one had two. And the last one officially that had one of these, well, of course, was Two Love Rue, obviously. That one had it. And, of course... It, the way, way how they got the bikini thing is that, oh yeah, they're on top of ground. It's like, why is he here? And of course they show, yeah, he was kind of invited because, well, she won a lottery and they go to the tropical island together. And of course they can't swim, but she's like, swim out swim out anyways. And then of course her bottom comes off somehow. I don't think she did herself. It came a complete accident. And of course the mention about this hermit crab that actually pinches her in her nipples. And then, of course, he of course he closes his eyes, picks her up, and he grabs the wrong breast. And the thing gets out anyways. Then, of course, she puts her clothes back on, and it rains. And she was really hoping to see some stargazing because they got a lot of the stuff they wanted to do when they were there. Except for, well, stargazing. So they spend some time in the cave. And then, of course, well, that's when the whole sucking our breast thing happened was in this particular scene not the other one I almost forgot about it. yeah basically they tripped over in a cave and at one point her clothes were very much were coming off like no he's not doing it himself these are coming like a complete accident yeah that thing with this series is that all these women their clothes just accidentally come off by pure accident yeah so eventually you do see the moon but not the stars and then the very next episode it's a valentine's day episode hmm yeah, this is something that I do occasionally see in anime. I mean, Case Closed had a Valentine's Day episode. Like, a lot of them have. Surprisingly, I don't think Tula Vru ever did. No, I don't think ever did. But I think it would have been interesting given the fact that how the main character of that series had a bunch of women in love with him. And High School DXD never had one because, well, they never had time for Valentine's Day episode. Though it would have been surprising him get a whole bunch of chocolate from his future fiancés. <laughs> Yep. So all the guys get chocolate from the woman they love. He of course was get hopefully get one from 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 Jessica, but he stayed behind. Of course, there's a blizzard that happens. Yes, a blizzard. And then of course, well, she gives him the chocolate, but ends up of course once again he ends up accidentally putting his mouth on her breast. Like happened like three times over the course of three episodes. He did it more time than the other guys did, which. Wow, man, you are ballsy to do that. And he does confess to her because he mumbled in a previous episode. This episode, he does confess to her that he's that she he's in love with her, but she turns now because it's still teacher and student. Though she regrets doing that, mind you, and just not yet. And then eventually they have the graduation ceremony, and everybody pretty much has basically got their own girlfriend, except for him, though. She, of course, gets her clothes ready via but well, do some, some baking. And, of course, then she, well, gets a change of clothes. Then he pretty much politely excuses out of the room. Of course, she's basically, like, very sad. Of course, she really wants to tell him how she feels about him. And then she, well, accidentally trips. And her bra comes off, though she's still wearing panties. And she gets trapped with the fishing line. He, of course, comes in. Of course, there's a gay pair of scissors. And, of course, you have Haruku and Tanka coming down the hallway. But, lucky enough, he saved, she's saved by the man she loves. 
and of course she does she does confess to him that she feels the same way and they become official couple and of course they go on the trip to an island and <laughs> yep so and it turns out that Kana thought she booked a hotel here but apparently they couldn't find the reservation which I thought that was kind of weird like this happens in the OVA mind you so they go to the island and two, it turns out two of the couples can stay at the hotel. The only one, the other two had to go to different places. Haruku and Tanka went to a manga cafe that spent a night there. But in the case of Chizuru and... Tanka. They go to some place else. Of course, Chizuru does not know what type of hotel this is until they get there. And, of course, they are to stay in the twin bedrooms. The bedrooms with twin beds. And, of course, you have Kana and Meru just having been in the hot spring completely. Like, oh, yeah, this is nothing unusual. Hot springs. Happens in a lot of anime I watch, surprisingly. Even freaking Naruto had one of these. Though this one's an adult anime, so at least, at least these are adult women. So, it's perfectly fine that she just went completely naked. Though it's not through some embarrassing means. And then later on, apparently, like, Miyu and Suzuku basically, well, they're in the room together, and you're probably thinking, are they doing something? Are they doing something adult? No, he just basically gave her a massage. So I guess that gives Suzuki the chance to basically have sex with his girlfriend, uh, not Suzuki, uh, Sato, have sex with his girlfriend, the, 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 to have sex with Kana. Yep. Make out, and it's very heavily implied these two had sex. And as in the case of Haruku and Tanka, they're at the Mind Cafe. Of course, she's wearing, like, a very, like, gamer outfit. And then she decides to, well, take a shower. Of course, she also calls a big sense of the fact these two are officially dating. In the case of... <laughs> in the case of Tanika and... As in the case of the, the air two, and she is a final touch that gets there that it's actually a love hotel. He knew right away just by looking at the place, and then of course she walks in the bath to him. Of course she's embarrassed, and then they spend a night at this hotel, and then of course she basically apologizes, and of course he doesn't feel he's basically very happy, and then they make out, and it's very and from what I've read, these two did have sex. Yep, they had they did it in that hotel room. They didn't show it, thank God, because that would have been a little bit too much. But yeah, it's mentioned off screen. They act, it's mentioned that they did have it off screen, and of course you have Chizuru the next day, where apparently she's like, well, basically very sore from it, and Haruku finds out right away and she says congratulations, which <laughs> okay, and that's where the OVA ends. Yep. Now, this by far was an interesting series to watch, and though, in the case of Vacation Curious, though, like, have I counted another series like this? Well, True Love Rue is an obvious one, because that series has got tons of nudity in that one, and High School DXD. It's not the first series I come across. Oh, yeah, also Super X Heroes had this as well. And several other series have looked like, are like, well, the only one I can think of that's kind of like this is Arya the Scarlet Ammo is like this too. Not erotic per se, but more like basically, well, guys acting really nervous around women they like. Yep. But, yeah, it's a pretty interesting series, but like I said in part one, only for teenagers to adults. No little kids watch this series because it's very inappropriate for them. Oh, I forgot to mention this also in part one. That this series did air about two years, like two years ago, surprisingly. Yeah, it aired from April eighth, twenty nineteen, to June twenty fourth, twenty nineteen. Yeah, it's it's a very quick anime to go through. It's only just twelve episodes in OVA, and even the OVA is the same length as the actual episode itself. So it's roughly about ten minutes if you take out the ending credits, which is basically sometimes it's probably two minutes, sometimes it's a minute and a half basically, for the closing credits. If you take that out, and you take out about the minute opening title sequence, you got roughly about 9 to 10 minutes of episode. 
So you can probably breeze in the series in just a, just a couple hours. Because mm -hmm. if you think about it, you you can definitely breeze this whole series in just a little over two. I would say about two hours and ten. You can probably get this done in about oh a little over two hours to get done this whole series. Because normally, a lot of anime like this I've seen generally tend to be tw about twenty about twenty four minutes. So Re Zero had their episodes longer because basically they have plenty of time because they have a lot more story to put in the episode than the previous seasons were. But the only series I've counted like this, where the episodes are this short, only about ten minutes, was My Wife and Student Council President. That's the only series I've counted like this. Where the episodes are really, really short. Like, even the runtime is just a little over 12 minutes. But if you take out the the, the credits, the, the, the title sequence, which is just two minutes, sometimes a minute and a half. It is roughly a 10 minute episode. So, anyone anyway, can easily breeze the series in just 10 minutes. Yep. But, yeah, not much to say about the series. This is interesting to say the least. I will be continuing reading the manga, of course. But, I'm not going to view it. No, I'm not going to view it because it's not exactly something I would regular view. I mean, anime, well, it's not really a big issue, but reviewing a manga like this, it just too much like talking about adult stuff and there might be kids watching. Yeah, that's the best way to do, just when it comes to this. And in case you're curious, though, what am I going to do to Over Darkness? Probably I'm going to start doing that mm, probably tomorrow. Yeah, I don't think it'll take me very long to get through the first season, plus first time over the A's. But there is a couple more videos I'm going to do today. One, of course, is definitely going to be the, the newest episode of Bar, so I did not get a chance to watch yesterday due to it getting really late. It was about 11.30 by the time I finished the re recording my last video, so expect to be a video that day, plus a comic corner. That comic corner might come first after I put up a couple of these videos. Okay, to the next video. Bye.